everybody welcome back to my channel if this is the first video that you're ever seeing from me let me introduce myself my name is Leslie and this is Pegasus dancing and I do planning lifestyle and dance related videos here and this video is the first video in my 2017 surviving the nutcracker series if you see me looking down, I am looking at my notebook for my notes because I have everything kind of planned out that I want to talk about. This is going to be an eight episode series talking about all things related to the Nutcracker, but not just the Nutcracker, to any kind of performance situation. I just know Nutcracker tends to be a very stressful time for most dancers. It's their biggest performance of the year. So I thought I would take some time and just sit down and kind of go through how to survive Nutcracker performance season. So this is episode number one, dealing with casting. Now I know everybody wants to be cast as a lead. However, there aren't enough lead roles to go around for everyone. So. I'm gonna break this into two different sections. The first section is you got the part you wanted. Congratulations, you got the part that you wanted. That's wonderful, that is awesome, great job, way to go. Here's my advice for you. One, don't brag about the role that you got. If somebody asks you, then you can just say, oh yay, I got lead Spanish, I'm so excited, that's the role that I wanted to do, or I got the Sugar Plum Fairy, I've been working so hard for this, and let them celebrate with you, but don't rub it in, especially if it's a fellow dancer and you know that they wanted the role just as badly as you did. Um, so just, you know, Say, oh, I got the sugar plum, what did you get? And then celebrate with them, even if all they got was snow and flowers. Just be like, oh, yay, that's awesome. You know, you're going to do so good at that role. And be encouraging. Um, don't brag about the role that you got. Just don't. I just, I don't. That's not healthy for anybody. But I will say this. Rock the role. If you got cast as the Sugar Plum Fairy, you better rock the Sugar Plum Fairy. And by that, I mean do the best job that you can. Put your best foot forward and go out there and just really nail that part. Um, listen to what the director is telling you to do. Listen to what the rehearsal director is telling you to do, the ballet master, mistress, or whoever is, is, is um coaching you in the role, listen to what they have to say, take what they have to say into yourself and really concentrate on every correction that you're given and correct it. Try not to get the same correction twice. I will tell you as a dance instructor, as a ballet teacher, I really hate giving the same correction twice to the same dancer, especially in the same class or the same rehearsal time. If I had to give you the same correction more than once in a class period or a rehearsal time slot, you're not listening and that bugs me. So make sure that you pay attention, you put your best foot forward, rock the roll that you get, and enjoy the ride. Nutcracker is a great magical time of year. It's when little girls fall in love with the ballet and they look at their mommy and they say, Mommy, I want to be a ballerina when I grow up. It's a magical time of year. So rock the roll, put your best foot forward, and enjoy the ride. Okay? All right. Now, I want to talk to those who didn't get the role that you wanted. All right. So you went out for Sugar Plum and all you got was snow and flowers. Are you really wanted lead Spanish, but you got core? Are you really wanted Arabian and you got Chinese or whatever it is? So you didn't get the part that you wanted. First of all, it's okay. It's okay to be upset. Take some time and mourn. Okay? But realize you are not a bad dancer. I'm going to say that again. You are not a bad dancer. You don't know what the casting director, the rehearsal director, the artistic director is thinking. Okay? I know from personal experience having to cast shows, 
there's a lot more that goes into it than just, oh, she really wants the role. Okay, we get it. Everybody really wants a lead role. But we have to sit there and we have to put together a cast that's going to work well together. As directors, we have to look at the whole picture the whole ballet, the ballet as a whole, and figure out not only who is going to do well in each role, who's going to look good in each role, but how they're going to work together as a an ensemble. Really, because especially things like the Nutcracker, you've got the Nutcracker, you've got Clara, you've got Sugar Plum, you've got Dewdrop, you've got Chinese and Spanish and Mother Ginger and uh, a Angels and I can't even think of what else. Sorry about that life with the three-year-old. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. You don't always know what the director is thinking. The director has to take into account the entire ballet and the aesthetic of the entire ballet. And it may simply be that you don't fit in the costume. Like, if they already have a costume for you know, a certain role and you don't fit into that costume, whether you be too tall or too short, too broad or too thin, whatever it may be, you may just not fit into the costume. And a lot of times these costumes are expensive, so, you know, they can't always, it may be something as simple as that, or it may just be you're too tall for the guy that's playing the cavalier. Or you're too short for the guy that's playing the Snow King. It really may be something as simple as that. But you don't know what the director is thinking. And you are not a bad dancer. Okay? So keep those things in mind. And it's okay to mourn the part you didn't get. It's okay to be like, man, I really wanted to be lead Spanish, man. And it's okay to cry at home, in your pillow, at night, or in the bathtub. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay to do that. But I will say, after you've done that, be grateful for the part that you got. Because somebody else may not have been cast at all. So be grateful for the part that you got. Be grateful that you got cast at all. In whatever role that it is, whether it's a party guest or a snowflake or a flower or whatever. Be grateful for the part that you got. Especially if it's another lead. Like say you wanted to be the dewdrop fairy but you got lead Spanish instead. Be grateful that you got lead Spanish. Because you may not have been cast at all. So just be grateful for the part that you got. And then the rest of my advice is kind of the same as it was for if you got the part that you wanted. Rock the roll, put your best foot forward, and enjoy the ride. So guys, whatever role you got cast in, whatever part that you got to play, embrace it. Put your whole self into it. Embody that character to the fullest because you never know what could happen. The director could be looking at you going, wow, they really are just embracing this Spanish diva that I want them to embrace. And who knows, next year when you go to audition, they may be, you know what, she did such a great job with Spanish last year. Let's give her something a little harder to try. Let's cast her as the Dewdrop or the Snow Queen. You never know. You never know who's watching. You never know who's taking notes, and you don't know what the director is thinking. And I will give you one last piece of advice, and I know this piece of advice has been given before by several other people. I'm going to give it as well. Understudy everything. I'm sorry, I was shaking my table. Understudy everything. If you wanted to be the lead Spanish and all you got was core, learn the lead Spanish role. Because you never know what, what could possibly happen. It could be that the person who got cast as a lead two weeks before the show breaks her ankle. That's terrible. You don't want that to happen to anybody. But it could happen. And that is terrible. And you feel so terrible for them. Well, the understudy may be like, I, I wasn't paying attention. 
I don't know the part. And then you can go like, I know it. I know how, I know what to do. And you may get to dance it. So understudy the part that you want, but rock the part that you got. My best advice is to embrace what you get. Embrace the role that you got rock it, embody it, enjoy the ride, and really just enjoy this magical time of year. All right, guys, that concludes episode one of this eight-part series. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you got some great information out of it, if it made you think about something in a little bit different way. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what part did you get in the Nutcracker, and was it the part you wanted, or maybe not? but you're gonna rock it anyway. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a beautiful day.